Welcome to Drive Wise Cars. My name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2015 Mini Cooper 1.5 diesel 5 door hatchback. Finished in British Racing Green Metallic. It comes complete with a chili pack. We've got media pack which includes satellite navigation, a front centre armrest, 16 inch Victory Spoke alloy wheels and flat load boot floor system. The mileage on this beautiful car is just 20,040 and it comes with a fully documented mini service history and we also have two keys as well. The last owner was a gentleman called Richard who purchased it back in January 2017 and as we slowly make our way down the near side all the way around to the back doesn't it look beautiful? I'll just take a moment to pause on the offside or driver's side to appreciate those gorgeous clean lines before we make an way slowly down to the front and right where we started from. So as I said the mileage on this one is just 20,040 and doesn't it look like it as well? So that's the outside, let's have a look on the inside. Start on the driver's side, just pop the driver's door open. Check out the door card. So there we go, you've got the switches there for the front and rear electric windows. Toggle switch for the passenger and driver's door mirror. Then come over to the interior. You've got a beautiful three sport multifunction leather steering wheel. Front sport seats, there's the front centre armrest. Both the driver and passenger seats are height adjustable, just using that lever there. I'll pop myself inside. And there we go. The mileage 20,040. You've got the speedo there. And next to that, the ref counter. On the multifunction steering wheel, you've got the buttons for the cruise control on the left hand side, and over on the right hand side for the radio, and for your telephone once it's Bluetoothed up to the system. Coming over to the centre of car, you can see we've got the big screen, which is the visual boost radio you get with the media pack. This allows you to change some of the settings. We'll just uh, start this up if we can. There we go. Put some lights on as well. So, we'll get a little bit closer. I love these because you can do all sorts with them. So where we've got the navigation system there, select map, we've got a nice big map. Come back out to the beginning again, back to the system there, we've got vehicle information. So you can look, quick reference, you can do a picture search for the owner's handbook, onboard computer, trip computer, vehicle status. Vehicle status system is quite useful because it lets you look when the engine oil is due for a change, or well, that's in October this year or in 11,000 miles. Brake fluid change, that's the suggesting there February 2013. And a vehicle check, everything's okay. And the next vehicle check is due in October 2023 for 26,000 miles. And we'll go back to the home screen, come right back down to the bottom there. On the left hand side we've got the temperature for the passenger system, the right hand side for the driver's system and then we've got the fan in the middle. Underneath that we've got a fast steam mist button, heat to your windscreen, automatic or manual, air conditioning system and then that's to switch the engine on and off. Beneath that, I don't know if you can see that there, but we've got a USB and an auxiliary port cup holders where would we be without those six speed manual transmission you can change the setting on the driving mode from sport to green but green is the most economical and there we've got the master control switch for the visual boost radio system and a handbrake you grab hold of I'm quite old fashioned like those so that's the view from the driver's side Let's pop the rear door open again. We'll check out the door card, make sure that's beautiful, and I can confirm it is. Seats in the back, absolutely unmarked and beautiful. Come round to the back, and to access the tailgate to the boot on the mini hatch, 
where the badge is, just under there, there's a touch button. I don't know if you heard that. Pop that open. And we've got a cabinet boot space, and you can make it even bigger if you want to fold either of the rear seats down. So on the left hand side, it's a 60 40 arrangement, with the left hand side being the larger of the two. You've got a solid floor here. Well, this is part of the flat load boot floor system. If I just lift that up, it folds into two, as you can see, and gives you access to a deeper setting there. If you want to tear that shelf out altogether, you can do, or you can just leave it there, but it gives you greater depth and, and therefore more versatility. So let's just close that up, come now to the near side or passenger side. Again, check out the door card first of all, no tears or rips. Upholstery is absolutely pristine. The rear seats are also trimmed in half leather with cloth, as you can see. Again, come down now to the front passenger door. Yeah, door card's absolutely beautiful, as is the interior. And I said earlier, you can alter the height of the passenger seat too, but there's the lever to do that as well. So, to sum up, we've got a 2015 Mini Cooper 1.5 diesel five door hatchback finished in British racing green with chili media pack, front centre armrest, flat load boot floor system, and 16 inch Victory Sport Cavalry wheels. Part of the media pack, of course, is the satellite navigation. The mileage is 20,040, and we've got a fully documented mini service history as well. Once I finish the video, we'll COVID secure the interior so the steering wheel, handbrake, and gear stick will be protected so it's all ready for its new owner. If you have any questions or if you want a part exchange valuation, I'd be happy to help. My name's Stephen. Thank you for looking at our video.